G'day, Grumpy Trev here. And today, we've got this brand new offering from Esheen, the Whoop V90. Have a look at this thing. It's uh, a little Whoop that will go along the ground, fly, whatever you want to do with it. Looks pretty cool. And uh, oh, thanks, Stu, for the studio while you're away, mate. Uh, he's over in China at the moment and uh, just left me the keys. He says, go and help yourself. So going to have a bit of a giveaway, guys. Look, pick anyone you want. I've been not only joking. You might not like that. Anyway, we're going to whack this thing on the bench, have a quick look at it, and uh, whoops. Like it was me cup. Let's whack it on the bench. All righty. From the bench comes a nice little black box, so we'll do an unboxing. As you see, that's what comes in the box. You get three batteries, uh, four spare props, screwdriver, prop removal tool, and a little USB charger. And this, which comes with the F3 flight controller, that's the Crazy B flight controller. It's a built in receiver, which is the free sky or fly sky option, and also does D shot. Now, the motors on this thing are the 802s and 19,000 kV, so it's plenty enough power to push this thing along. But the build quality, I don't know, it's look, it's got a bit of tape holding the flight controller in. It looks like this thing was really rushed. When you put the batteries in, it works in here, where they've got the cable coming through. So I don't know how long your cable's going to last, as you can see here. This cable's running through the same hole, so probably the first thing I do is move that. But this thing does get up and go. The uh, video quality of this thing is very, very good. But it looks like it might break. But I haven't broken it yet, and I've had a few pranks. So what we'll do, we'll whack it out and uh, fly it around the house and uh, see what you reckon. Let's go. One thing I forgot to mention, you need to configure a switch on your radio to activate the servo on the back to turn it into a hovercraft or a quad, so pretty easy to do. Anyway, overall, I didn't think this thing was too bad of value. I thought it was going to be, it did look cheap, cheaply built, well it does look cheap actually, um, but it flies okay, it does the job, it's going to be easy to fix, it didn't break, I hit the walls, I hit the floor, I hit everything with it and it hasn't broken anything. This is foam on the outside, so you're not going to hurt your walls or damage your walls with it. Kids are going to have a lot of fun with it. You have a lot of fun yourself, actually, had a lot of fun with it. The uh, cost of this thing, um, 113 bucks AU, I think 90 bucks US. So look, value for money, it's probably just on the edge there, but it was a lot of fun. So look, if you like it, I'll leave a link below if you want to have a look at it or buy one or whatever. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, don't give a shit still. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Catch you next time.
G'day! Yeah, it's Trip. G'day! G'day! No. G'day! Grumpy Trip here from Grumpy Trip. Yeah, Stu's gone to China. He just said, here's the keys. Help yourself to the studio while I'm away. No, not really. I broke in, thanks, Stu. You got no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, what we're doing today, no, that's not how you do it. 